Hello Reef Builders, coming at you from a little bit different location this week than the studio like you're used to. We're here in Hawaii, we're on the west side of the island, uh, kind of towards the north of the island at a dive site called Huaco. Um, you can see out there, there is a dive buoy, so this is a popular shop, or a popular spot for dive shops to take customers on boat dives, um, but it won't take us more than five minutes or so, we'll swim out there and be in the exact same spot, so we should see some nice stuff. Uh, there's lots of like channels and little valleys down there. I've, I have dove this location before. Um, I don't exactly remember everything that's out there, so it's kind of this first dive that we're doing today is just going to be to scope it out a little bit. Um, but it's beautiful. It's about 85 degrees here. Nice change of pace from Colorado. We can't wait to get wet. We did a couple dives yesterday down at another location. Uh, hopefully, some nice big stony coral ridges, stuff like that. Uh, Pasilopora, various. Montipora, Pavona species are out there, um, and of course tons of cool butterfly fish, angel fish, um, yellow tangs, trigger fish, you, you name it, maybe even some turtles. So uh, we're going to suit up here and head out in the water and we'll see what we find. One of the first things to notice on almost any dive in Hawaii, especially around the Big Island, is these large colonies of parietes. They come in many different colors to start with. There's blue ones, yellow ones, some pink ones, uh, but they come in many different forms as well. The most common being the parietes rocks, the big, large mounding structures, but also very common are the finger coral, or what they call the finger coral in Hawaii. It's also a species of parietes. As long as I was talking about parietes, I wanted to drop this clip in. It's actually from a dive we had done the previous day at a slightly deeper location, as you can tell uh, by it being a little bit more blue, but this was probably some of the nicest coral, uh, definitely the nicest parietes that we saw on the trip. You know, you can see the finger coral variety, little of the sticks coming out from in the middle of the uh, large fields of the plating and scrolling types of parietes. Um, all parietes, but as you can see, the forms come out very different. Friend. Something I kept seeing all over the place in these Parietes rocks, and I know uh, anybody that watches this channel will enjoy this, is the uh, Christmas tree worm rocks were found all over the place out in Hawaii. I didn't see the broad range of colors like you sometimes do. These were all yellow ones, but still very nice. One of my favorite things to see while diving out here is these large bombies of uh, colonies of coral, and most of them have these little schools of damselfish or uh, some various type of fish, butterfly fish sometimes, swimming over the bombies. And I just think the contrast between the, the reef scape and then all the motion created by the fish is uh, really nice. This is a great example here of a reef wall with a school of Sergeant Major damselfish hanging around the edge of it. Of course, 
the damsels aren't the only fish that enjoy hanging around these rock ledges. Here you can see a pair of four spot butterfly fish, and these are quite common as well. And there's a pair of raccoon butterfly fish hanging out really close by. Another one of my favorites to see out there is these large puffer fish. They blend in and camouflage with the background quite well, so it's easy to miss them. It always makes the dives just a little bit more interesting when you come across a turtle. I've been to Hawaii before and done some dives where we've seen dozens of them. This was the only one we saw the entire trip though, so we really uh, took a moment and enjoyed it. A very common sight on these natural reefs is the moray eels. This is the first one I've ever seen that was outside of its hole and actually swimming around though. Something certainly to be avoided while you're diving is these massive diadema sea urchins. They're everywhere, and it's not just the big ones either. There's lots of little small ones down in every little nook and cranny. I kept coming across these corals occasionally. I should have probably touched one at some point because at first glance I thought they were a hard coral. Uh, further research is making me think that they're actually some sort of pally though. two great dives today. Um, so at this point we've driven kind of around the bay from where we were over at Buco, and we're just up at a beach kind of sprawled out enjoying some sunshine right now. Um, but we saw, I think the thing that stood out to me most on our dives today was the number of Christmas tree horror rocks that I saw, which I know anybody that watches this channel is a fan of. We got quite a few of those in the studio. Uh, but almost every colony of Basilopora, if it was like a decent sized chunk, had little worm rocks stuck into it. Um, you know, at least a handful I thought that was really cool. I've never seen those in nature before. Even though I've been to Hawaii before, I guess I just really overlooked those. And uh, one of the coolest corals that I've seen, I never saw anything out there that was like any significant size piece of it so far, uh, but it's the rice coral, which I believe is Montefiore capitata. And it has like a red base to it and a red rim, and then bright blue polyps. I've never seen one of aquariums that have like these bright blue polyps to it, so that's, uh, that's really nice. Um, Fish-wise, I did not see any Potter's angelfish today, which is probably my favorite fish. Um, we did see some uh, a bunch of schools of little damselfish schooling around the bonnies, and uh, those look great. Um, one thing we did today, we uh, were experimenting with different colors for the camera filter, and for one dive I used the orange or the red one, and then for another one I used uh, a lighter orange one. It just said it was uh, snorkel. That's all I said up there, and I think that one was better. I probably should have used that for both dives, but hopefully all that footage turns out just fine. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. We're going to have a, another dive tomorrow, hopefully on a boat, and then uh, a couple more throughout the rest of the week. So uh, we'll be talking more about corals and all the fish, and uh, hopefully we can see some nice butterfly fish. I know there's like some tinker eye butterfly fish and stuff out there, and I have not seen any of those yet. So uh, we still have a, quite a bit of vacation here, and uh, it's just going to keep diving and get some good food and have a good time. So we'll see you on the next one.